Farming has played a big part in the history of Ireland. Dairy farming has been the lifeblood of the rural community in Kerry for the past hundred years. The year-round rain and mild climate allows farmers to keep the cattle in the fields for up to eight months of the year, feeding off the lush grass. In the winter time, the animals are kept indoors and fed off silage and hay. The most popular breed of cattle up to the 1970s was the dairy shorthorn. Shorthorn cattle were strongly favoured by Eamon de Valera, the President of Ireland at that time. Dev claimed that the shorthorn would give you all the milk you could drink when it was alive and all the beef you could eat when it was killed. However, farmers were not convinced and dairy farmers started importing Frisian breeds. They gave much more milk. Farmers breeding for beef had also to change to Bethel, Hereford and Angus breeds. In 1950s, cattle were traded and sold at fairs around the country. Farmers would round up their animals and would walk them up to 20 miles to a fair to fetch a good price. However, in mid-1950s, a change came about. Instead of selling at fairs, they were sold by auction at Mounts. This system became popular and eventually fares died out. But the Mounts put money into the farmers' pockets. In the Mounts, the cattle were weighed and displayed before coming up for sale. Butchers and farmers were the main bidders. The seller usually stood within earshot of the auctioneer, but out of view of the buyers. When he was happy, that the price of the bid that he wanted, he gave the auctioneer a nod and the hammer dropped. The deal was done. One of the biggest events for farmers were the cattle shows. These were held in locations around the county. Farmers came from all around with their most prized animals. Cups and prize money were given out to the finest breeds and pedigree. But the biggest prize of all was the price the winner would fetch at the mart the following week. <laughs> <laughs>